Welcome back, history enthusiasts. In today's captivating journey, we delve into the life of a truly remarkable military figure whose strategic brilliance and leadership made an indelible mark on World War I. Join us as we unravel the incredible story of General Louis Francia de Speer, a man whose innovative tactics and pivotal role in key battles shaped the outcome of one of the most significant conflicts in history. Born on 25 May 1856, Louis Francia d'Esprit was a French general during World War I. His brilliant military career had an auspicious start as he was a graduate of the esteemed saint sir Military Academy. But it was during the global conflict of 1914 to 1918 that Despery would cement his legacy. His service in World War I began on the Western Front. Early in the war, he commanded the Fifth Army during the Battle of the Frontiers. His effective leadership and tenacity under pressure made him stand out. Despite initial setbacks, Despery managed to reorganize his troops and skillfully held his line of defense. His tenacity was instrumental in slowing down the German advance, which was crucial in the initial stages of the war. However, it was his contribution to the Salonika front that would truly define Despery's role in World War I. Appointed as the commander of the Allied forces in Salonika, Thessaloniki, Greece in 1918, Despery took charge of a demoralized and disorganized force that had seen little progress in the preceding years. This is where his unique tactics came into play. Despery adopted a dynamic approach, mobilizing a multinational force and restructuring the defense systems. Recognizing the potential of the Eastern Front, he pushed for an offensive against the Central Powers. The result was the victorious Vardar Offensive in September 1918, also known as the Battle of Dobropol. Under his leadership, the Allies broke through the Bulgarian lines. The success of this strategic attack triggered a series of events that led to the capitulation of Bulgaria and subsequently weakened the Central Powers' position. Despery's innovative tactics were integral to this success. He skillfully coordinated a diverse group of British, French, Greek, Italian, and Serbian forces to achieve a common goal, showcasing his brilliant leadership and strategic prowess. Another vital event that marked Despery's role in World War I was his march to Hungary. After the collapse of the Salonika Front, he led his troops northward to support the newly formed Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. This maneuver was instrumental in preventing further conflict in the region, effectively stabilizing southeastern Europe after the war. In the grand panorama of World War I, General Louis Franchet, Despery is sometimes overlooked, but his strategic acumen and leadership played a significant role in reshaping the course of the war. From the Battle of the Frontiers to the Salonika Front and beyond, Despery's tactics and decisions left an enduring impact. Through his service, he proved that effective leadership is not just about brute force or sheer numbers, but also strategic understanding and the ability to motivate and unify disparate groups. His work exemplifies the strategic dimensions of warfare, providing a compelling study in military leadership and the dynamics of international military cooperation. Ultimately, his contributions were pivotal to the outcome of World War I and the shape of post-war Europe. Despery's legacy is an example of the untold stories of war, the individual contributions that, when combined, result in profound historical shifts. By exploring his life and achievements, we not only pay tribute to this remarkable figure, but also gain a deeper understanding of World War I and its complexities. His story is a testament to the power of strategic leadership and the crucial role it plays in the theater of war. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, keep exploring history with us.